Today there are lots of new solar product announcements and updates, so we're going to run through them in this video very quickly. First big update is the SOK batteries are now in stock. They have been out of stock for over a month and they've been held at customs. And so far, not a single person has complained about this battery. I use mine as a step stool. Um, it pulls more than its rated capacity. You can service it, you can swap out cells, has a good BMS, the terminals are super strong, and it has low temp charging protection that works perfectly every time. So if you were planning on buying this, this is the time to do it before it's out of stock. Next update is this unit used to cost $1,300, but now Rich Solar actually supplies the same exact one for $1,000. And I know this has Max Oak Blue Eddy, but there are lots of companies that sell this. So it's not a special unit, it is rebranded. So try to get the cheapest price possible when you buy this thing. Next update is the AC200P is now, in my opinion, ready to buy. Previously, there were lots of problems with this thing. We had shunt calibration issues, temperature sender issues, we had dead on arrival units people having random error codes that you couldn't find in the manual. And it took about six months for them to update these problems. But at this point in time, I haven't heard of a single person complaining about this thing on the forum or emailing me. So I think this is finally ready to purchase. If you have any problems with this unit, please let me know. Post it on the forum with pictures or post it in the comments section below. But it's really hard to beat this thing at the price. You're getting lithium iron phosphate now. The inverter I ran for weeks. So it is a good unit. I was just really mad about it when they had all those issues, but I think now they've actually solved everything. Next, this is the Progressive Dynamics Lithium Iron Phosphate two-stage lithium charger. This is a very high quality unit that should last a very long time, but it's very expensive. Also, you cannot program the settings on this and you cannot change the current. But on this model, you can, and it's cheaper. And I've been using this one for the last six months every single day. You can change the profile parameter settings, you can change the current, and it works on 12 and 24 volt batteries. At 12 volts, it pushes 75 amps, and at 24 volts, it pushes 37 amps. And they did not send these out for free. I bought both of these with my own money. I still have not contacted this company, but this is a good battery charger. And I use it as a variable load for specialized capacity tests. So I highly recommend this. I'm actually gonna put this as my number one recommendation because I've been using it so much and now I have two of them. Also, the edges are very sharp and I've cut myself on these corners. This is still a very high quality and good battery charger, but for the price and the features, I would absolutely go with this any day. And now we have a new product announcement. This is the SBMS Zero by Electrodocus. And on this model, it is easier to use the inputs for the signal wires on the back but it still has the same balance cable and it has most of the same features. But we're gonna hook this up and make a video on this soon because this will be really cool. Now the next update is that Renogy has their own all-in-one solar power system. I found this out yesterday on my own while looking at their website and I was like, are you kidding me? You guys didn't tell me about this? So it has a 3,500 watt inverter. It has an 80 amp MPPT, so you can connect 4,400 watts of solar panel power to it. And get this, it's only $764. So I just ordered it, I should have it in a couple weeks, and yeah, this thing seems pretty cool. And this will serve as a competitor to MPP solar and grow watt inverters. They have been pretty much the only ones on the market and coming out with new models all the time, but it's nice to see that other companies are coming out with their own stuff as well now. And I'm glad they're starting with a 48 volt model. This size system could power most cabins and boats and RVs. So yeah, I think people will like this if it works well. Now the next update has to do with Jackery and they're actually building a new solar generator with an output of 2000 watts and an input of 800 watts, which is pretty good. That is the fastest charging generator that I think they've ever come out with. And that's the biggest complaint that I've ever had with them. It will take like seven or eight hours to charge, which is like two or three days with, you know, actual realistic sunshine. And they updated the screen and did a bunch of other stuff. So this might be the first Jackery that I actually like. The other Jackeries are good, but they're just so limited in power capabilities. So yeah, this is pretty impressive. I'm actually impressed by this. Now the next update is Bluetti has the EP500 and it is a massive solar generator. This is for cabins or even houses as a backup source of power. 
It's even capable of split phase output if you have two of them in sync with a box. So you could supply a small panel with power and use it to back up your home. But this product is on a crowdfunding platform which I do not support personally. If you wish to be a beta tester and test out these products with potential problems that will reduce cost, be my guest. But personally, I do not want to review those. I'm going to wait until it matures a bit and then I'm going to get that product to review. But the features look incredible. So if they actually pull this off, it will be a pretty incredible unit. And I do like Blue Eddy's products. I think the first shipments that come out are awful, but after that, once they mature, they are good units. Um, the first Blue Eddies that I have are still working flawlessly. So I do like Blue Eddy products, but when they work, um, I think if they rush things and they're swapping out battery cells last minute because they ran out of LG cells, I think those ones have some potential issues. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, that's pretty darn exciting. Next is a quick update on the trailer system. And this system's been running 24 hours a day for a few weeks, and it actually runs my jacuzzi. So I have a GFCI right here, we have an extension cable right here, and then I have a plug on the outside of the trailer now. And this is the exterior plug and I sealed it off. And the extension cord wraps around my backyard and it powers my jacuzzi. So the amount of power the 800 watts produces here in Las Vegas is enough to run my jacuzzi. And I have not checked on the system once. The door has been locked and it's just a power source. I can plug anything that I want into that outlet and that's it. It just runs 24 hours a day. So pretty successful project so far. And this system has four battleborns and two big battery packs. So far, I have not had any issues with them, and we're going to do a teardown to see how they improve the design because they've actually added padding to the cells and some other upgrades. There was one person on the forum named Seth, and he's having a lot of problems with his battery and had to ship it back. They sent him out a new one, but the problems that Seth had were very worrisome. I'll leave a link down below if you want to see the pictures of Seth's battery to see what problems he had. So I want to recommend these because they're at such a good price and they have lichen cells, but I'm still waiting until they fix all of the problems. And I'm trying to destroy these myself. I'm going to do some high current testing and some other stuff. And so far they're working good, but this is not a strenuous test. This is just running a jacuzzi. So, so far they are working though. Also another update is the leaking electrolyte battery. This is a hazmat approved container. It has percolite and plastic bags and I had to follow a protocol. I use chemical resistant gloves and then I put all of those cells into here and they're gonna ship this out. And Big Battery paid for everything. I did buy this pallet jack and it's really nice. Check this thing out. You can buy this at Harbor Freight for super cheap. I, I don't know why I did not buy one of these before. But yeah, I can't wait to get this thing off my property. Another update is I got a mini split heat pump. So this heats up the shop. Now I'm not freezing and I can actually make these videos. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was freezing my butt off when I made like the last month's videos. So yeah, I finally have this now. Also, we have a new solar generator by Hisolos. Remember that company that we reviewed recently? Well, this is a low frequency, high output inverter system with lithium iron phosphate batteries. It weighs 130 pounds, but it is an all-in-one system. So we're gonna have to test this out soon. And it's a beast. I mean, AC charger, it literally has everything that you need and it can charge from a 12 volt receptacle. So I think like guys with sprinters that want a large system, they can handle pretty much anything. This will be what they use, but I need to test like the standby consumption, the efficiency and things like that. But pretty impressive unit. And I almost forgot, we have another grow watt inverter all in one system. This has a 3000 watt output, an 80 amp charge controller, a 40 amp AC charger, and 240 volt PV input string maximum voltage. So this will absolutely compete with that new Renogy. And personally, I like these all-in-one units. The new ones are UL compliant or UL listed. There are grow watt inverters that are UL 1741. Like a lot of people were scared about these all-in-one units because they were scared that they were gonna break and that they're from China. But the new ones and the old ones are pretty good. I've not had a single failure. And I have like 20 of these. I have a stack of them on one of my racks. 
And this one even has Wi-Fi and communication so you can scale your system. So you can have multiple inverters and you can power anything that you please. And the number one downside I've heard people complain about is serviceability. But all of these are serviceable. You can take this whole thing apart, swap out the MPPT, swap out the inverter board, you can swap out individual components. So in my opinion, I think most off-grid solar power systems in the future will have an all-in-one system. It's just a box and some batteries and some solar panels and that's it. And nowadays there is a lot of competition. Renogy has to catch up to this. This is the newest model. And this thing looks nice. I mean, the screen on the old ones was pretty pathetic, but they are making them nicer every single time. So in about a month, we're gonna throw this in the solar trailer and see how well it works. But yeah, so far they're all working pretty nicely. And that's all I can think of for product updates and announcements. I'm sure there's some that I'm missing. There's always so much going on in this space with solar products. But yeah, I'm probably gonna start making these like once a week because there's so much that I have to keep my viewers updated on. And it's hard to make a video for every single topic. Anyways, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and I will talk to you soon. Bye.